When I was in the military, we had this thing in the code of securities, basically, that said uh, the information that you have access to is on a need to know basis. Meaning, if you don't need to know it, we're not going to tell you, so don't ask. And there might be information that you would like to know. There might be information that you want to know, but we'll determine whether or not you need to know. Welcome to Leading Leaders Podcast, five minute videos, five days a week. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. We live in a world today where every device is gathering information. It's, it's tracking when you were at Starbucks and how long you were there. And, and, and by proximity, it has the ability to determine who else was there. Whether you were having a conversation with them or not, that same amount of data is available for everybody in the building who's using Wi-Fi, who's logging on their phone, who's sending a text, who's Instagramming a message, who's sending an email. And all of that data is being accumulated, metadata, by all kinds of different people, some nefarious and some not. As they collect that data, you have to ask yourself the question, what kind of digital breadcrumbs, what kind of vulnerabilities have I created for myself? If someone did get into my device, my phone, my laptop, my iPad, what would they learn about me? And the truth is there may not be anything about your life that's interesting enough for anybody to care until you realize that sometimes you're in proximity of people that, well, they're already watching. They're already listening to. They already have a reason to wonder what is this conversation about? Why are these people getting together? And because that's true, that reality, it's very powerful for the way that that data is guarded or not. Ask yourself the question. Maybe it's not about you, but about the people around you. What do they need to know or what should they never know? What is it that you'd like them not to know? I was watching one of my favorite TV dramas last night and I know that the show is pretty much made up but there's so many things that are just for TV that have nothing to do with the reality of the people in this condition but the show is called SEAL Team. And in this particular incidence, the, the team got themselves into a hot spot and they're in a hot spot because it was a piece of missing information, some, some data that their intelligence people didn't discover until they were already on the ground and under fire. And in that moment, there was a lot of fear that someone could lose their life and the, the whole transaction didn't land the way they expected it to, but they got out alive because what kind of show would it be if they didn't? But as they're flying back home, their intelligence analyst uh, is really taking it hard on herself that, that their team has been under fire and it was something that possibly should have been known by her before they were put in that position. And her commanding officer is giving her solace. He said, listen, you can't connect the dots you don't have. That's where I want to challenge you because there's a truth in that statement. It's a powerful statement. You can't connect the dots you don't have, but ask yourself this question as an everyday Joe citizen, but someone who runs their own business, who leads a team, who informs other people, have you left dots out there that other people could gather? Have they connected dots around your life, around your friendships, around your relationships that would put you or somebody else in harm's way if they realized the value of those dots? See, the, the dots are the digital breadcrumbs, the places you go, the people you talk to, the apps you use, the emails you send, the message you send, the websites you visit. All of those things are metadata gathered by well, everybody, I mean, Facebook asks when you log into Facebook, do we have authorization to track your location? If you use apps like your weather map, it asks, can I track your location? I want to know where you are 24 seven. And even when your phone is off and laying in the cradle, it still has the ability to say, this is where I was last time I was powered on. And the next time it's powered back on, it'll have a data ping of location yet again and all your new messages will come into your inbox and all your Facebook notifications and Instagram notifications, they'll all pop up and what are those? They're all dots. They're the dots that someone is connecting to see where do you go? What do you buy? What do you mean you went to an Obgen clinic? A, a pregnancy test as well? What does that tell me about you? Just by your location tracking. How many people have you visited? Where were they? Whose house were you at? What do we know about that person? Who are their friends? The dots, they're being connected by somebody. 
And you've got to ask yourself in the balance of good, genuine transparency as a leader, are you balanced in your transparency? Because you have to have that for the trust of your team and your discretion that says, I'm minding my dots. <clears throat> I know the trail of dots that I'm leaving and I'm cautious about what dots I'm leaving. Because if you're not, then you and your friends and your team may be vulnerable to the dots that you didn't know were there. Leaders have a responsibility to balance the discretion of what should not be need to know for anybody else and the transparency and authenticity necessary to build trust in a team. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast for Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day. Subscribe now for our extensive video library of leadership lessons promoting faith, family, and freedom.